Happy New Year everyone! Let's hope that 2021 is a fantastic year. As far off indie games releases, it looks like this is going to be an awesome month. I have to be honest, I had a few problems picking just 10 titles this month, so I decided to extend the list till 60. Find your way through a medieval open world adventure RPG uncovering ancient secrets and unraveling the mystery of the Ended Knights. Engage in skill-based gameplay, each encounter being unique, breaking off from the old-school linear simple-click combat. Skellboy is an action RPG game in which you play as Skippy, the square flexible skeleton to keep a heartbroken court magician from destroying the world with his army of monsters and undead. Change out your body parts with those of enemies and friends and become the hero of Kobold Kingdom. Ancient Abyss is a 2D Zelda-like action game where you will explore mysterious and hidden events in the randomly generated maze. As you progress, you'll gain more power and collect items to help you reach further into the maze. As you walk through the layers of the maze and reach the bottom of the Abyss, you'll discover mysterious and dark forces tucked away, so no one will fight them. Dyson Sphere Program is a sci-fi simulating game with space, adventure, exploration and factory automation elements where you can build your own galactic industrial empire from scratch. Build the most efficient intergalactic factory in the space simulation strategy game. Harness the power of star, collect resources, plan and design production lines and develop your interstellar factory from a small space workshop to a galaxy-wide industrial empire. Ender Lilies is a dark fantasy 2D action RPG about unraveling the mysteries of a destroyed kingdom. On this sorrowful path encounter horrific enemies against whom a moment of inattention could be fatal. Overcome the hardship of your journey and reach the truth with the Fallen Knights. Bravo 1 to Poseidon HQ. We've reached a location. Copy Bravo 1. Begin scouting the area. Readout Space Assault is an arcade space shooter that puts you in control of a super orbital recon fighter during a future colonization of Mars. Dive in the fastest, exciting arcade space battle and outsmart, outmaneuver, outclass your opponents in lightning-fast, adrenaline-inducing single-player space combat. HQ, we have smugglers trying to break away. Bravo 1, you must stop them quickly. Adverse is an arcade first-person shooter platformer set in an idyllic world of corruption. Fight your way through swarms of enemies, spanning 40 plus increasingly difficulty, picturesque levels using fluid movement and combat mechanics to find and defeat the roots of the hostile AI takeover. Cyber Shadow is a retro action platformer. The world has been taken over by synthetic life form. A desperate player for help sets Shadow on a journey to uncover and start the path of the perpetual ruin. Slash through the techno hordes, leap past traps, and nimbly navigate the ruins of Mecha City. Only you can unlock the secrets to your clan's ancient power in Cyber Shadow.
castle sim games. Stronghold Warlords is a real-time strategy that allows you, for the first time, to recruit, upgrade and command AI Lords across the battlefield in the form of in-game Warlords. Players must first design, build and manage a fully realized castle economy. Each Warlord under your command boosts your strategic prowess with unique perks, characteristics and upgradable abilities. Players will besiege great Khans, Imperial leaders, Shogun commanders and more as they grow their castle economy and construct new gunpowder fueled siege weapons. They must have clocked us last night. Gina, I do not think they were here to arrest us for loitering. Encodia is a point-and-click adventure in which you play as Tina, a nine-years-old orphan that lives with her big clumsy yes, robot Gina. guardian in a rooftop makeshift shelter in yes, Neo Berlin a dark megapolis controlled by corporations. Tina is an urban jungle kid who has learned to live alone, scavenging from the city dumpsters and hicking out a living from scraps. Our funny robot is always with her, programmed to protect her no matter what. Will give us all we need. Incompetent! The whole lot of you! Alia is a game about Faraday's quest, a man shipwrecked then trapped in the mysterious country of Terraphage. Armed with a legendary harpoon, he and other castaways try to leave this hostile country to return to their homelands. Through adventurous exploration, narration and razor-sharp combat, the player will discover a strange world and its inhabitants. why I'm here. Sword of the Necrodancer is a dungeon crawler action RPG with rock-like elements where you can revive your defeated enemies to make them fight alongside with you. Turn your foes into allies using the forbidden powers of the Sword of the Necromancer and help Tama reach the dungeon's depth in order to gain enough power to bring Coco back from the dead. The Medium is a third-person psychological horror game that features patented dual-reality gameplay. Discover a dark mystery only a medium can solve. Explore the real world and the spirit world at the same time. Use your psychic abilities to solve puzzles spanning both worlds, uncover deeply disturbing secrets and survive encounters with Ma, a monster born from an unspeakable tragedy. And then gunshot. Experience the brutal trials of Venturous Band of Warriors in their desperate plight to sever the gods' callous grip on humanity. Every man and woman who can muster a blade, having suffered the brutality of the gods' reign for too long, will be called upon to form your clan of 8 Celtic survivors in this roguelike action single player. Tartapolis is an open world RPG mixed with metroidvania elements and guns. Explore the dark streets of the city where two realities intertwine. The city is full of shady characters, strange creatures and sentient technology. Rangak Skies is a vertical scrolling arcade shooter inspired by the general classics. Highly replayable with four different characters, each with their own unique ship, weapons and bombs. Includes two-player local co-op.
I really hope that you guys enjoyed this list and if you do, please consider to drop that follow, subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber and share with your friends. I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye!